The death of Peter Connolly caused shock and outrage. The toddler was tortured and abused for months and his mother did nothing to stop it. Tracy Connolly was jailed in 2009 for causing or allowing her son to die. In March, a parole board decided she could be released from prison. The Justice Secretary Dominic Raab challenged the decision, but a judge has reviewed and rejected his application. Mr Raab responded angrily, tweeting, Tracy Connolly's cruelty towards her son was pure evil. The decision to release her demonstrates why the parole board needs a fundamental overhaul, including a ministerial check for the most serious offenders, so that it serves and protects the public. But some say the parole board doesn't need reforming. It has a pretty remarkable record of success in the task that it's given. And the task that it's given is not to decide how severely people should be punished. It's to decide once people have served the period that a court has decided is necessary for punishment, to decide at that point whether people can safely be released. Tracy Connolly, who's now 40, was briefly released in 2013, but sent back to prison after breaching her parole conditions. This is the house in North London where she lived. 17-month-old Peter, also known as Baby P, died having suffered 50 injuries. Despite being on the child protection register, he was let down by the services supposed to protect him. Reviews into his death found the police, social services and health teams all missed opportunities. Opportunities which could have saved his life. Stephen Barker and his brother Jason Owen are still in prison for his death. But after years behind bars, Tracy Connolly could be free within weeks. She served her time, even though some say it wasn't long enough. Laura Bundock, Sky News.